rock climber. <laughs> What's up guys out here for a quick run with the uh, v4 again uh, i was going to bring uh my uh, older crate and my my uh, beefed up crate but for some odd reason uh, i started to run it uh and it's uh, glitching really bad i don't know if it's something wrong with the receiver or if the esc is starting to act up it's got the hex 8 in it uh, so we'll have to diagnose that later so i'm just gonna go ahead and run the v4 um, there's no uh upgrades to it again this thing is uh i'm so impressed by the bone stock I haven't had any problems. Um, I, I do have the chassis braces in it. I vented the tires. Uh, I've got punch nine on the ESC. Um, and other than that, I mean, she's still running bone stock, just a uh, diff tune. So anyway, we'll just uh, run it till it breaks. Let's see what happens. And also I got this uh, ramp that I, that I kind of built in my garage, just a DIY ramp. Uh, I've never built a ramp before. I just uh, kind of did it to my specs and uh, watching uh, some videos and big shout out again to Bickety Bam. I know he, he uh, made a couple ramps, so it kind of inspired me to try to make my own. Uh, but this one is uh, 30 inches tall, six and a half feet long, um, and I angled it out in the rear right here so it has a little bit more bracing so it doesn't want to topple over. And I made an extra long run up so it has a nice smooth run up to the ramp. And then I put a piece of uh, carpet transition at the bottom to make it for a nice smooth uh, hit. Uh, what I did is it's, uh, it's about a 45 degree angle right here. Uh, I kind of traced out my uh, plastic uh, modified ramps as far as the actual lip angle, but then I hand drew to get a little bit more of a clean run straight up so it doesn't slam the lip so you get a good lift off. I tested it out in the yard and uh, it was, you know, it, it did a, a pretty good uh, sending. So we'll see how it does here hitting it with speed. Uh, but anyway, all right, let's see what happens. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Oh, that was a hard slap. Arma tough. Ooh, that unplugged it.
Yeah, guys, I'm starting to lose my servo. It's getting, it's getting a little weak. <laughs> I had the endpoint set, but it's just, it's just uh, going out anyway. I guess she's calling it quits. Just cut off. It's probably thermal. Uh, I just found out my ESC fan quit on me. And uh so she definitely uh she's definitely getting hot. I don't I don't have my uh, temp gun with me, but we're gonna go ahead and call it. Alright guys, the Creighton is a beast. Uh, I could go crazy with all the upgrades, but um as of right now, you know the only thing that I see that it really needs is, is the M2C chassis. It's already got the chassis braces. Um, you know, once I get the chassis, I'll take off the tower to tower. There won't be any need for that. So, um, but other than that, I mean, this this truck. I just wanted to see how how long she would hold up stock, just to you know really test the uh, arm durability. And uh, so far, I mean, nothing is broke. But I broke since I've had the truck. I've broken a rod end. Um, I've bent the chassis up and the uh, center brace. And um, other than that, there's there's not been any breaks on it. So. All right, guys. It was a blast. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get the uh, my old uh, Creighton uh, fixed up. I'm not sure if it, like I said, if it's the ESC or the receiver. But anyway, all right. RC Dude 81. Peace out.